shallow, rich, and socially successful, Cher is at the top of her Beverly Hills high school pecking scale. Seeing herself as the matchmaker, Cher first coaxed two teachers into dating each other. Emboldened by her success, she decides to give hopelessly klutzy new student Ty a makeover. This is Clueless on Night at the Movies. So, okay, like right now, for example, the Hadians need to come to America. But some people are all, what about the strain on our resources? And it's like, when I had this garden party for my father's birthday, right? People came that like did not RSVP. So I was like totally bugging. I had to haul ass to the kitchen, squish in extra place settings, and like people were on mismatched chairs and all. But by the end of the day, it was like the more the merrier. And so if the government could just get to the kitchen, rearrange some things, we could certainly party with the Hadians. Wow. You guys talk like grown ups. Oh, well, this is a really good school. Mr. Hall was way harsh. He gave me a C minus. <laughs> well, he gave me a C, which drags down my entire average. Hello? There was a stop sign. I totally paused. You tried driving in platforms. Oh, should I write them a note? <gasps> Ew, get off of me. Ah, oh, as if. Cher's got attitude about high school boys. It's a personal choice every woman has got to make for themselves. Cher's saving herself for Luke Perry. Cher, you're a virgin? I mean, I'm not prude. I'm just highly selective. I mean, you see how picky I am about my shoes, and they only go on my feet. Nice stems. Thanks. I don't care. What the hell is that? A dress. Says who? Calvin Klein. I'm gonna be what are you doing? Yo, you're getting on the freeway! Get on the freeway! You go, girl. Are you okay? Uh, I'm fine. Whatever. Did I miss something? This big hair back? Oh. Amber, my plastic surgeon doesn't want me doing any activity where balls fly at my nose. Well, there goes your social life. Michael, as if you would say, and I'm going to say it first because then I'm going to let you talk for a few seconds. What's your thoughts on Clueless? So I have to preface this. Uh oh. If you ask me ever, what my top five movies of all time are, this is included. I did not know that. This is a movie that I watch probably every year, at least once or twice a year. I will watch this movie. I will enjoy it. I, if it's on TV and I just happen to be crossing, I now need to sit down and finish this movie. I... I just think it's such a good movie. I mean, the whole cast is really great. It's fun. No one's inherently a bad person throughout the whole movie. I mean, Cher, even when she has her like, oh, I may be like, I might be mean because like even what you were doing wasn't mean because you weren't trying to like, she became genuine friends with Brittany Murphy's character. And like, it wasn't one of those like, oh, I'm going to, trick her into da, 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 da. and then it's like oh I just want to give her a makeover because she's new and she seems like she could be fun and like that's the journey I don't necessarily love the whole date your stepbrother moment that happens at the end that's a little ex-stepbrother <laughs> yeah, yeah but it was weird but again they're not related in any way they're not even their parents aren't even together now so like it's fine and it's Paul Rudd it's fine I was gonna say uh, this this movie, everyone. So anyone who looks at Paul Rudd today always goes back to this movie and says Paul you Rudd has not same. aged exactly. No. This was, if I'm not mistaken, one of if not the first movies that Paul Rudd sort of broke out and sort of became a known name beforehand. Well, it might not be completely known, but he was a he became a player in Hollywood after this movie. 
I, I, I don't, I, this is not in my top five movies. So I will, I will put that out there. I've not seen it as That's much fine. as Michael has probably seen it, but I've seen it a few times. And I will say it's a good movie. It is a movie that you can sit there and you can watch and you can, you can like, if someone has never seen it, they will enjoy this movie. It's not one of those movies that everyone despises. Oh, I hate this movie with a passion. I, I've never come across people who have said that. I think it's an- They'd be pretty suspect in my life if they said that. We wouldn't get along. <laughs> exactly. And, and, not, and it's not because like, oh, your opinion's wrong because we just probably wouldn't get along because I this movie is something that I really wholeheartedly like, which means we probably have very conflicting ideas about things in life anyways. Uh, I, I might agree with that. Um, Alicia Silverstone- Named after an iconic diva of the past. Next her and, and her friend Dion. No, that's a line in the movie. Silverstone gives a great performance in this movie. Fabulous. Give her the Oscar. <laughs> the Oscar, no. <laughs> no. This was a snub. This, this, 1995, this was the snub of that year. This whole, <laughs> this whole film was snubbed, period. Yeah, I would disagree. Agree to disagree on that. Um, especially for costumes okay okay yeah i could see that but this will you look at movies and you think of how would you be able to watch this again there's some movies that we've reviewed in the last few weeks that i would say i will never watch again because either they're really crappy or they're just should not have been made this movie like you said you pick it up you can watch it no matter where it is in the movie you will still laugh at it and you can still finish it off I Love don't that. don't think that people often put this into a category of its own, but I think it is in the fact that you think of the 90s, Clueless is going to be in that section of what you talk about. Because the fashion, the, the, the talking, the catchphrase, as if, literally became the lexicon of the 90s, the late 90s. And I know you were not that old when it came out shade at me but i just i think that this movie will stand its time and even in 30 years from now when we're old and wrinkled and crepid we will still be able to watch this movie and think it's good because it does not say rsvp on the statue of liberty <laughs> you're just throwing the 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 uh um can't even think of the name the word here the Quotes. Wow. Quotes. <laughs> the quotes are on today. Um, let's head over to the, the reviews. Out of five, I'm going to go first. I'm gonna, oh, of course you'd go 10. I can't. 10. It has to be a 10 out of five. I don't care. I'm going to give it a four. I think it's good. I'm this, And remember, every time we do one of these past reviews, I'm looking at, I'm reviewing it as I've just seen it for the first time. I'm not reviewing it 2022 chris i'm reviewing it when i saw it for the first time and i'd give it a four and the only reason i give it a four and this this is probably and michael made mention of it the incestuous relationship part that's the part that i just got as if <laughs> as if whatever major loser so that is clueless on night at the movies on the cross-border interviews with chris brown and michael nichols Bay. <laughs> <laughs>